Hello, 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 and welcome to our Ricky Cappy University interview with Walter Lebeck. Um, we're having him on once again to share with us. Okay. Here is Walter Lebeck. Walter is a um, grandmaster in Reiki. He has written over 25 books and numerous languages on Reiki, and he really is one of our industry leaders. So Reiki Cafe University is super excited to um, be collaborating and to be working with him. Thank you for inviting me, Christine Renee. I'm very happy to be here and to meet you and all the wonderful folks here and to discuss my favorite topics, you know. Can you share about COVID-2020? and how it's been so far. Yes, oh, that's such an important question. Thank you for that. Um, you see, COVID-19, of course, like any ailment, has a spiritual message. That does not mean it's our punishment and we have to uh, suffer it. No, but we created a world in which COVID-19 was able to spread. And we behaved in ways that it could do that easily. So what is the message i did lots of shamanic traveling to the higher self of that family of viruses it's like you go to the higher self and the guardian spirits of an ant kingdom when they and when they come into your house they invade your house you don't want that so you have to talk with them and you need to you need to negotiate so that they get their place and you have your place and it's similar with the COVID-19. And so far, uh, my experience with them is they will stay with us for a longer period of time. We, because most people do not want to get the message. They want to fight it. Well, mm -hmm. fighting it in terms of um, trying to heal someone who is ill, that's quite okay. But understanding COVID-19 as an enemy does not make any sense. See, COVID-19 goes after the lungs. Not only, but lungs are very, very much um, ill. And so if you just use the laws, the spiritual laws of Hermes Trismegistos, you might have heard about the threefold Hermes of ancient Egypt. These laws are the basic of uh, astrology, tarot, um, energy work, name it. Um, these laws are as above, so below, as within, so without as in the big, so in the small, and some more like polarities and stuff. So uh, what does this help us? Let's have a look into the large world. Where are the lungs of the planet? Well, the lungs of the planet are the Amazon uh, forests. They are the rainforests of Central Africa. They are the rainforests in Northern America and, and Russia and all of the place humans are cutting them down like there is no tomorrow like we have mm -hmm. a second planet where we just can go when we have devastated everything here mm -hmm. so we are we are cutting down these rainforests not only the amazon rainforest in ever f faster tempo and people don't do anything against that mm -hmm. not not really Right. So uh, what's happening is we destroy the lungs of our planet, like COVID-19 destroys our lungs. Now, mm -hmm. COVID-19, if we don't want to get ill, if we want to reduce the probability of illness, we need to do social distancing. Now, look into what people are doing. During the last decades, they are doing social distancing in their mind. Some some decades ago, people were much more talking with each other, doing things together. Today, people have two jobs, sometimes three jobs, to just make ends meet. They they are typing something in the in the mobile phone, but they do not really talk with each other. In many cases, they have much less social contacts. So COVID nineteen just tells us, see, that's the world you want. So that's it. Do you mm -hmm. want to stay with it? Okay, go on. If not, you need to change something. Then we thought that we are the masters of the world. You know, in this big book stands that humans should be the masters of the world. 
well, we are not that wise. Absolutely not. So um, we tried to be masters of this world and we failed miserably. So now it is a time that we could turn around and ask divine because divine knows how to get out of the mess. We don't just mm -hmm. look at the virologists, the, the great scientists, they discover every month a little bit more, but they still have no idea. There are 200 different mutations of COVID of coronavirus SARS-2 and they react in very difficult ways. So in one mutation, brings havoc to people another mutation is like like a light flu but you don't know what you got absolutely not mm -hmm. so um another thing which is important is um the covid 19 brings up the aggression and fear when you look at the conspirational theories they are running wild Everybody thinks they know it all. Who are the bad guys? People try to find a simple explanation. There is no simple explanation that these are the bad guys and if we put them in prison, everything's fine. We, we have created this situation. Now, there is another thing which is important and we need to talk a little bit astrology here. Um, you might have heard that um, the big planets, they are going through the star signs. So when the big financial crisis started, 2008, it was when planet Pluto, astrological Pluto, entered the star sign of Capricorn. And Capricorn is about the structures of powers which run our system behind the scenery. That is not necessarily bad because most people do not want to deal with the information and the decision making uh, the politicians do. This is why we have politicians, because most mm -hmm. people don't want to do anything with it. So I don't, you know, but anyway, it's there. We have to do it. And um, the Pluto is a great transformator. So Pluto just tells you now you will learn. Capital letters underlined exclamation mark. Mm -hmm. not as a punishment, just things you have procrastinated for decades, for decades. You didn't want to deal with it. Now Pluto puts power into them and you must deal with them. That's mm -hmm. our situation. The first years and the last years of Pluto in a star sign are the most dynamic. So what we are experiencing now, we are now in the last four years of Pluto and Capricorn. That is not the worst. It is a start. It is a start. And next year, you will see that this year was in comparison very good. I do not want to make people fear because everybody can make decisions that they have a better time but we need to be more flexible. We need to open up to guidance. With our mind, we cannot do it. The divine can do it. They mm -hmm. will guide us, I'm sure. They are standing there. My, my angelic guides told me, we are there for you. It's a really hard time and we know you cannot do it alone. So we are there, but you must call us in. So pray, do your best and pray for the rest. <clears throat> now, what will happen during these years? What will happen is that the structures of industry, finance and politics, politics will not be able to handle what is going on. They will be overwhelmed. Even if they try their best, they will find out we don't know what to do. Now, we had politicians in the past who were praying regularly. And my hope is what I pray for is that we get politicians now who have the habit to pray every day because mm -hmm. prayer and meditation opens you up to guidance that they say thank you every evening for this day because if you say thank you 
you open up to learn. Mm -hmm. Now, after these four years, which prepare us for Pluto in Aquarius, we will have very interesting times. You know, the Chinese say, if they want to curse someone, you may have interesting times you live in. Why are the times of Pluto and Aquarius so interesting? Because Aquarius, I'm Aquarian, I'm strong Aquarian, is freedom for or freedom from, if you put it very simple. Mm -hmm. Freedom from means anarchy, meaning United States will not be united anymore. Texas will go, Alabama might go, California will go. Um, they might have a very old president from Austria, you know, you never know. Um, <laughs> Maybe Delaware will go and so on, you know. Maybe that in Canada, there will be an English country and a French country. The EU might not stay. And maybe that the UK will become a country of Wales, a country of Scotland, a country of England, a country of Northern Ireland, and so on. So that means also the safety net, which we got through these networks of countries, might fall apart if we do not take care of them, if we do not understand how much peace they brought in comparison to the time before. About a hundred years before, we didn't have that. And so many countries were going against each other, which today we thought this is not possible. Now, another thing is freedom for. Freedom for, if we, if we move towards that road, that is a different world. That means the positive globalization that we understand each other as sisters and brothers united by love and by connection to creator you know we're starting to deal with our issues we go to work and together we can change the whole stuff into something positive that is the other side of aquarius and during the next four years the spiritual people, whether they understand themselves as being spiritual or they just pray and meditate in their way and be spiritual, they will decide where we will go. Or the racists will make the decision, the nationalists and the extremists. And that is why I pray every day. That is why I'm a spiritual teacher. That is why I'm a healer and give talks like this. So I want to meet like-minded people. I want to help them to prepare and not prepare in the way of, you know, uh, put these tons in the garden uh, with for one month's food and some um, crossbows for hunting. That's all good and dandy. But what you really need is that you prepare to open up for guidance. Mm -hmm. You yeah. cannot have so many tons in the garden as you will need if you don't prepare by opening up to guidance and the bunker will not be what you really need oh i so agree with that i feel like if we all could just tune in yeah. especially every day especially every morning and just be like i'm available i'm available to be of service i'm available for help i'm available to move through my life with guidance and you never know what happens i was just sharing earlier this morning on facebook I write in my journal what I hope to see in the next month. And it was, I want to collaborate with other well-established Reiki masters. And then you messaged me, you know, it was, it was all through divine guidance. Yes, yes, yes. Sing it, sister. It's exactly what I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I love it. I love it. So even though it doesn't feel like easy times right now, um, <laughs> come back to you because it really is so within, so without if you yeah. have harmony within you, you will have yeah. harmony in your home. You will have harmony in your community. You will inspire others to produce the same harmony within and that will spread. So yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for that reminder. You're, you're welcome, Christine Renee. And I'm so happy that we both met because we are really like-minded souls. And I think today we, together we can move a lot of things. You see, I've heard something which I like to share with all of you. A quote, you will never know how much you can love and how strong you are until love and strength is the only thing left that will get you out of the mess. So we can learn 
how strong our hearts are when we just say, "Okay, bad times, here I come. I will come through, and I will help others who can't do it without my help because I'm here to share." Yeah. 